guys, sorry. This is a revised Dollar Tree haul because I forgot to put the footage in the store. So, this is the right one with the footage from the store. And those of you, the two views that already had, sorry guys, I messed up. Love y'all. Hey guys. So, it's CJ. I just got out of the Dollar Tree. I thought I would do y'all a short little haul. I didn't buy a whole lot. I think I spent $18, I think. Well, I thought I'd take a minute and show you what I got. And I will insert a little bit of footage from the store. I didn't get a whole lot because there's quite a few people in there. But I did get a little. So I'll insert a little bit of footage from the store as we go too. But first thing I got was iced animal crackers. I absolutely love these things. In fact, I'm going to open them up and have one. I am not supposed to eat the, you know, the ones you get, the animal circus that you get at Walmart that are iced all the way around. They are my favorite, but I can't have those. It's way too much sugar. So these, what I love about them is they just have a little bit of icing on one side. Mm. And they're just yummy. It's just enough sweet for that cracker. For me, they're beautiful and I love them. I snack on them all the time. And then, uh, there's only 8 grams of sugar for like 10 cookies. So, as an occasional snack, I can do that. Beans. I have kidney beans and, and black eyed peas and navy beans and green beans. And I am totally, totally out of pinto beans. You can't run out of pinto beans in the South. You need beans. Especially since somebody's decided now that Bo needs burritos. I can't afford to buy burritos every day, but I can make a big pot of beans and make him burritos. It's easy. So I got three bags of pinto beans. These are one and a half pound bags. I got three of them. So I think that's all I bought grocery wise. And then I got another one of these containers. You guys, I absolutely love these. If you guys see these at your Dollar Tree, they make big ones and tall ones and short ones. I absolutely love these. They have the measurements on the back. This is a two quart. But they do have the measurements so you can measure for storing dried goods. You can't beat these, you guys. Seriously. I have rice. I have pastas. I have beans. I have my uh, equal packets for my tea. Seriously. Dry storage, you guys. You can't beat these for a dollar. I love them. They seal tight. They don't get air in them. They don't get water in them. They're just awesome. Occasionally, if you drop them, the lid will break, but they're a buck, okay? And I got some scrubbies for the kitchen until I get the ones from Miss Connie that I need to order. I need to send her some money for some. A couple of washcloths. I think these have roosters on them. I'm not going to open them up, but I think they're roosters. I got some um, Paper plates, which I'm not going to dig out of the bag for y'all. Because y'all know what paper plates look like, right? So then I found these, and I've never tried them before, so I'm going to do these, and I will do a review on these and let y'all know. They're called Shore Scents, and they're basically the little gel bubbles. You know, when you put them in water and they swell up? Well, these have cherry blossom scent, and it is 14 and a half ounces for a dollar. And basically, it's a resealable bag. You open it up. Pour what you want into a little container, and I have a cute little glass jar they'll sit in perfectly. And I'm thinking these will be good in the bathroom as, an, as a deodorizer in the bathroom. So we're going to see how they work. Obviously, they will dry out their water beads, but it's a pretty big pack. And if there's, the scent is strong enough, you shouldn't need many at a time. So I'm going to do a review on these for you later, and I'll let you all know how they work. But a buck. Okay. No sorry. Uh, the dogs got treats, obviously. That was the main reason I came in here. So they got beef and cheese flavored, and they got sausages, pig in a blankets. They both love the pig in a blankets. That's one of both of them love those. I have them in this brand, but they didn't have any, so I got the other brand. We'll see how they like them. If not, I'll go back to Walmart and get the other brand they do like. And then I got. Joanne hauls these all the time, and she absolutely says she loves them. So, Joanne, I got a little pair of fluffy socks. And what I'm wanting is something I can just slip on my feet quick and easy to be around the house to not necessarily need slippers, but I need to keep my feet off the cold tiles. 
because those tiles get freaking cold. So we're going to try these out. Joanne, Joanne loves these and she hauls them all the time. So I'll let you know. And then I got a couple things of paper plates. Like I said, I got something that's actually missing. I got a bug. Maybe it's down in the other bag and I missed it. Well, I don't know where it's at. I'll have to find it before I leave, but there's a pack of batteries in here somewhere. So, the batteries are for this. I know you guys have seen these right by the bed. If I wake up in the middle of the night, I don't have my lamps out yet. I got to go find everything where the cords are and the extensions, the, the surge protectors and all that and all the lamps. I got to go find them all. That's going to be a project this weekend. But this would be really nice right next to my bed when I get up and I just need to go potty. Uh, just said my little brother has one of these on his next day and my nephew does as well. So just a little soft light switch on real quick. It's battery operated. It takes three AA batteries and I did buy batteries there in one of these bags somewhere. Oh, there they are. I see them now batteries you guys eight batteries for a buck are they going to last as long as a Duracell probably not but they don't cost what a Duracell costs either so and then I got this thing this is a steering wheel cover now the only thing that concerns me about this you guys is I have an older car so my steering wheel is you know pretty good size it's not like some of the smaller ones you see these days. We're gonna, I don't know if it's going to fit, but we'll see. It's real stretchy. <laughs> Looks like it's going to work, you guys. Hold on. Just got to work it around so it's even. Because what I'm thinking is in the mornings, it is flipping cold, and this steering wheel is cold as all get out. So I was thinking that it might just give me a little bit of break from that cold, cold, cold. Awesome, it fits, you guys. So, I'll show that real quick. Pop me off the motor. There you go. And it's really soft, and hopefully it'll be a little bit warmer on my fingers in the morning because it is cold in the morning. So, get y'all back on the holder. Anyway, that's it. That's what I got. Like I said, I didn't get a whole lot. I just got a few things that I need around the house. And now I'm off to Walmart. So I'm going to get this video posted as soon as I get home. And I will try to do a Walmart haul. You know what? I think I'll do the Walmart haul on the vlog. So, y'all want to see what I get at Walmart? You're going to have to watch the vlog later. So until now, have a great day, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see y'all on the next video. Bye, guys. It's not too awful busy in here, so hopefully I can take you on a tour. We'll go this way. Of course, all the Valentine stuff is up. Look here, Kelly. All kinds of stickers and glitter, y'all. Kelly would be in heaven here. Heart notepads, aren't those cute? Little games, party favors. Oh, look at there, Kelly. Glitter hearts in all different sizes. Kelly would be in heaven. Bags and socks. All kinds of stuff for hanging on the walls. Ribbons. Check out all the ribbons, y'all. Look, Kelly. Lots of ribbons. Cute box, right? Balloons, of course. We have little wreaths. We have bears. The candies. Must have candies. 
I don't need candies, but there's lots of them. And lots of boxes of stuff that has to get put out yet. The last of the Christmas stuff, y'all. 50% off clearance. <laughs> it's a cute box. The lid's missing, but it's a cute box. They done picked it over. Stickers. These are cute. I had some of these. I used up quite a few of those. Anyway, cards and party stuff that I don't need. All kinds of toys. More cards. Candle holders. Way too many people down there. Like candles and such. Pins. You might need a pin. Orders, craft stuff, die cut letters, all kinds of crafts, stickers. Get ready to go back to school, you guys. It's crazy, right? Notebooks and folders, office supplies. I love these erasers. Look at those erasers. Aren't those just cute? <laughs> Mailing centers. I'm trying to let people buy them. It's a little crowded. But not from the people, from all of the stuff. Anyway, I'll be back. All the doggy treats, you can see this is why I get them here. They're a dollar. They got lots of choices too, but we got the ones we always get. And kitty treats, of course. Look at that bowl. Is it not the cutest stinking bowl? That is like the cutest bowl, but it's very flimsy. And you guys can see, look. I can bend it in half. It's very flimsy. These bowls I have, they're awesome. They're thick, they're heavy, so they don't break. Oh look, other colors. Of course, I have a dog that would destroy them. Yeah. Oh, look, y'all. A blue one. We're going to get one just because I think they're cute. Okay. Now I'm going to shut this off so I can do a haul for y'all later and you won't know what I got. So I'll talk to y'all when I get home.